Hey there guys, have you ever scoured the internet on opinion videos made by opinions on religion, uh, politics, or if you want to become a great actor or whatever stuff? Or opinion videos that talks about whether it's good or bad to become a YouTuber on 2019. Some of them are good and some of them they feel kind of rant. Today on this episode, we will be talking on how you can make sound and cohesive opinion videos on YouTube. But before we do that guys, you know what to do, like, subscribe, and Gong that bell. Hey Freedom, my name is Nold and welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. As I said a while ago, we will be sharing to you guys on how you can make a sound and very cohesive opinion video about any topic that you want. Made be religion, politics, becoming a YouTuber, becoming an actor, becoming a dungeon master, and stuff like that. We will be sharing these tips to you so that you can make reasonable and charismatic opinion videos. So without further ado guys, Freedom Quick Tips. Number one tip and the most important thing that you need to have an opinionated video is a topic. In order to make an opinion video, you will need to pick up on a topic. It doesn't matter what kind of topic it is, where it be politics, religion, recent events, recent pop cultures, and other things that is happening in the world. Number two tip, make sure to do your research before you state your opinions. This is one of the most important parts of your opinion video. You will need to make your homework and research. This is because you will need to back up your opinions with substantial proof or facts. The information you have will be like your bullets. Your mind is your gun and the chamber of the gun is your mouth. You need to be prepared to state all of the facts if you want to make an opinion video. You will need to make people believe that what you say is the truth and you do that when you back it up with data It will be more authentic and more thought of when you have those scenarios Some of the opinion videos do not have this they use their emotions to fuel their opinions and that's okay But it's still better if you can back it up with data number three make sure you are careful with words Okay, so you need to be careful when it comes to how you convey your words You will need to keep things in perspective Don't go attacking the fundamentals of any association or bad-mouthing people's opinions You want to know why it's because you do not want to piss off thousands to millions of people. Sure, there will be people to support you and your views, and maybe sometimes it will work to get your opinions across more effectively. But you do know that if what you say are just blatant attacks towards other people, there is a high chance that you will get the ire of the people affected by it, and when you do, it might break or make your career on YouTube. Uh, it's a gamble, yes, high risk, high reward, but I advise that you guys be careful of what you say online. Number four, explain what your opinions are, substantiate, and provide facts or proof. Remember the second rule. This is where your research comes in. Explaining the situation, the premise of your opinion, and why you are sharing your opinion is tantamount to your videos. You will need to make them understand what your point is, and it does not end there. You will need to reinforce your points by giving them the research, the facts, and the underlying circumstances that led you to your opinion. Don't make it appear as a rant. Make it appear that you exactly know what you are saying. Number five, do not belittle other people's opinion. Remember to be careful with your words. Yes, I cannot stress this enough. Be careful with what you say. Be careful that other people do not have your views and because of that, it's easier for them to break down your opinions. If you attack them, they will attack you back until someone gives in uh, or the topic breaks off in time. You do not want to sound as someone negative and aggressive, Rather, it's better to sound as calm, collected, and reasonable. Number six, share a common ground with other people's opinions. This should be the last portion of your videos as you will conclude your opinions, your views, your insights, and other elements. Don't forget that it will add more value to your views if you put out a suggestion, or maybe speak from within the shoes of the opposition or something similar and come up with a compromise. It will make your audience feel that you are a reasonable person that is willing to appropriate opinions and have mutual understanding. And that's the episode, guys. Do you have other tips for us that we can effectively make opinion videos? let us know down below. Of course, if you have a friend who is struggling to make opinion videos and they don't know where to start, you can always share this to them so that you can help them out. Before you leave guys, please leave a like, subscribe, and gong that bell. My name is Nold Guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, freedom, quick tips. I'm gonna be seeing you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.